we are using this in a liquid printing application. I alluded to this. Um, these files can be represented via STLs. And the very first times that I, I made files uh, like this, I made them as STLs, but that becomes pretty cumbersome pretty quickly. Um, and so this is leveraging the, the liquid printing capability that Stratasys has been talking a little bit about uh, as part of their research package. Uh, this is something that I developed um, as a user several years ago. Uh, you can make microfluidic circuits, so sort of classic uh, mixing circuits. You can make some more elaborate mixing circuits, uh, some fairly elaborate capillary-like structures, droplet injectors, etc. <clears throat> this is the subject of a 2022 added manufacturing paper uh, that talked all about this liquid printing and, and why it works and how it works. Um, so if you're interested in that, feel free to, to reach out to me or take, check out the paper. Um, as I mentioned, we are looking at uh, pre-surgical planning models for 3D printing, stuff that you can do with polymers. Um, the idea being to give surgeons and patients more information about what the morphology that's inside them is before these operations occur. Um, you know, current models, because they're using these boundary representations, um, have a, a beautiful sort of sparsity. But, uh, you know, in reality, your body is much more complicated than uh, than some distilled model. And so we can enable that complexity to be fabricated directly using a volumetric representation workflow. Um, so we take in scan data, CT, MR, and then pass it through open VCAD. Um, you can do the usual sort of filtering, thresholding operations, et cetera. Um, and uh, then directly export to uh, PNG stacks, if you like. Um, we've also recently explored um, mixing materials together, and that lattice that I alluded to and showed earlier was one implementation of this. By mixing together three base materials, um, in this case, the Tango material, uh, This I think this predated Agilis, if I remember correctly. Um, one of the Vero materials, the rigid material, and then the liquid material, you can get composites which have very large uh, variations in their mechanical properties. So in this case, I'm showing elastic modulus, Young's modulus. And so you can get materials that are sub 100 kilopascal um, all the way up to things that are gigapascal without switching materials. 